What's up, Cyber World? It's your girl, the one and only, Ash Brown, and this is Ash Brown Uncensored. On this program, I talk a little bit about everything. It may be pop culture related, but it's probably Ash Brown related. So you got to stay tuned to see what I'm going to talk about. What I'm going to talk about today is in those corporate offices across the world, The other black girl. The other black girl. Now this goes back to a story, and if you guys have been following for the last year or some change, about that dreadful, toxic, disturbing, hostile work environment that I had to leave. In that office, there were a lot of people. A lot of people made impacts on me. Mostly for bad reasons. And so this past weekend, I was at a wine festival. And I happened to see one of the people that left a very negative tone with me. Very negative. And this was the other black girl. Just literally, the, the, literally the other black girl. So, in a situation, basically, I had other people coming to me, multiple people, saying that she doesn't like you, she's going to make your life hell, she's saying really disparaging things against you, and overall, she's going to make your life even more of a nightmare than what it is. So, technically speaking, this person is the main reason that I left the way that I did. She made a decision that I was really praying over and really trying to figure out the best route to go. She made a very difficult decision, very easy for me. Very, very easy. And I don't regret it. In all honesty, I should have left earlier. But that's neither here nor there. So life goes on. I'm doing great things. I'm a part of a corporation that is 10th in the nation. All right. Employees are ranking this company 10th in the entire United States of America. That's pretty doggone good. It's not good. It's great. So back to the wine fest. I'm at the wine fest. I'm enjoying myself. I'm getting some video to post for social um, taking pictures and all this good stuff. And I see someone that's like jump in front of me. I was like, Ashley? And I'm looking confused as hell because I do not recognize this person. I have absolutely no idea who the hell they are. And then she then she reintroduces herself and says her name. And I kind of give a little bit of acknowledgement but didn't really get. And then she's like, oh, can I give you a hug? And she gave me the fakest ass hug that I've ever had. And she's like, oh, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I never asked her how she was doing because I didn't care. She was like, oh, well, I'm going to have to go get some more wine. You know, if you're going to be here, I'll, I'll be right back. Yeah, we can catch up. Catch up on what, bitch? There is shit. There is not shit that you and I need to catch up on. Not a damn thing. You are going to reap what you sow. Because I wasn't the only person that they, she fucked over. There were several other people. And have quite the stories to tell. Quite the stories to tell. On things that they worked on with her. That either weren't right, didn't go well. And ultimately blew up. Not a good person, but it just goes to show it's like this world sometimes can be kind of small and you kind of forget about things. But in that moment, I didn't even want to give her anything additional. Hi, bye, I'm doing great and left it at that. And I feel very satisfied at that because I don't know. I mean, I am just now getting back into the scene of going places, doing things and being on the spot and... I know that I'm going to see a lot of people that I've worked with, a lot of people that I've gone to school with, and I'm ready for it. 
essentially. That's what it is, but yeah. Some bitches really don't even need anything additional. They're already miserable in their lives. So let them stay there. Let them stay there with their miserable selves. Let them stay there. Mm. It's crazy. Like, I could have said some snarky stuff. I could have thrown out some jazz. But what, what would that have really done? What would that really prove? What would that... I mean, there's no outcome that would be okay giving this person any more additional energy. So I just refuse. I got to the place in life where I'm not going to explain myself. I'm just not going to fuck with you. That's just really... That's where it comes out to being about I'm really not going to fuck with you. And I'm going to wish you well on your way and all the things that you do and the things that you're involved in and everything like that. But we don't need to be in each other's lives. And I'm okay with that. I wish you well on your way, but we have nothing to discuss. I was surrounded by nothing but love during this event, and I adored it. Why? Because I deserve it. Why? Because I put that type of energy out. So it's so refreshing to receive it from other souls. It's so refreshing. It's so beautiful. It's so on just overall amazing. But, um, yeah, it's just one of those things in life. You just continue to do what you need to do and be the boss bitch that you are. Keep making history. <laughs> And things will fall into place. Things will fall into place. But yeah, I just wanted to touch base on that. Because it was so bizarre. So bizarre was that she wanted so much to be acknowledged. So I acknowledged her. And I could tell she wanted to talk. I had no interest in talking to this person. Mm Mm-mm. And I think what makes it worse is that this person also knows how terrible upper management is. And knowing that, just having that tidbit down, you would still inflict pain and misery knowing that you're on the receiving end of a lot of shit. It's crazy, yo. It's crazy. I wish people well, but you can't be in my life. Your energy is no good. Absolutely not. And that's the story I got, y'all. So I appreciate all the love and the support, all of the good energy, the good vibrations. Keep pushing forward no matter what. And have a prosperous, purposeful, and peaceful week ahead. I love y'all. Have a great one.